This month we're back on our home turf in Hampshire. Having been invited by Ollie Siddle to Ashdown Forest last month, we're aiming to return the favour. Coming from Ashdown Forest, Ollie has shot more than most men's fair share of fallow. However, as yet, he has not had an opportunity to stalk roe. Whilst roebuck remain in season until the end of October, during September they remain elusive to say the least by virtue of the fact that they are inactive for many weeks following the midsummer rut as they strive to regain weight and condition. Also this month we get an opportunity to try out the new eagerly anticipated SNL bolt rifle from world renowned English gun makers William Evans. We set off at first light, determined to get Ollie his first roebuck. Within minutes, we spot a group of fallow from the road. Fallow can appear in four colour variations, common, melanistic, white and metal, and this group highlight the contrast nicely. Nonetheless, it is roebuck that we're after, and so we set off to another patch in the car. Um, so we're coming up here on a really good little patch. Now the last time I was up here we had uh, nine roe deer in three different groups. So uh, we're going to have a little look around and uh, see what we can find this morning. A few moments and we're onto a family of roe browsing a nearby hedgerow. Making strategic use of cover we stalk in to around 100 yards. Okay so you, as you can see up there we've got um, three row. Uh, one of them was clearly a mother with a young kid, this year's kid, and then we have, unfortunately we've got another doe there as well, which is another mature doe. Unfortunate, as I say, um, but often uh, when you've got a group of three like that, it would be a mother with two kids because they have tw they have twins. Uh, but uh, seeing as it was a mature animal, I was kind of hoping it was going to be a buck, but uh, sadly it's another mature doe. With that initial disappointment, we set off to another productive area. Whilst there are numerous signs of passing animals, nothing shows itself. Of course deer have a very, very good sense of smell. We've just been coming up a finger of woodland with the wind nicely in our faces and then it's eddied round and come right up from behind us and absolutely killed our stalk. So we're having to adapt and come in now from a different angle. The new strategy soon pays dividend as we glass roe deer just a hundred yards ahead in the woodland. We stalk in to just 50 yards to take a closer look. There are in fact two row. One is a mature doe, however, closer examination of the second animal reveals it to be a buck kid. Buck kids may sometimes develop small buck mantlers during their first autumn, which are subsequently cast in early spring allowing their first true antlers to develop. This one passes just a few yards from us. Ollie lines up the William Evans rifle, however it's not our policy to take such immature animals and so he's left to go on his way, later circling round us to no doubt return to his territory sometime later. After breaking for lunch, we take an opportunity to take a closer look at the William Evans rifle. This month we're back in Hampshire on home turf and I'm here with Ollie Seedle. Ollie, great to see you again. Hello, please. Now I'm really excited this month because we have with us the eagerly anticipated SNL bolt action rifle from William Evans. Now I was itching to get my hands on this thing. Ollie, you managed to get there first. What are your thoughts? Well, Peter. 
I think it's fabulous. It's a really, really well thought out, well put together package. I think you should have a look at it. Yeah, great. Well, I mean, a pretty rifle, first of all. Yes, it is. Yes. Um, tell us a little bit more. Now, S and L, Sh Schultz and Larson, am I right? Yeah, Schultz and Larson from Denmark. They started making guns in 1919, so okay. they've got a lot of history there, a lot of heritage. Um, they've teamed up with William Evans, and this is the result. Sure. Well, they put a very nice bit of woodwork on here, haven't they? They did. Two different types of stock. This is the Monte Carlo stock, and they do a classic stock as well. Okay. And three different grades of walnut, depending on your preference. Grade sure. one, grade three, and grade five. I don't know if you can pick this up on camera, but we've got a really nice palm swell here on the pistol grip, checkering here, and on the fore end. I mean, a very pretty rifle. The action, that's pretty slick, isn't it? It is, yeah, very smooth. Lovely, really nice action there, really, really smooth. Uh, other features, safety catch here, three stage, back is safe, forward one click releases the bolt, and then a further click to fire. Uh, how did you find the trigger? It's crisp, it's, it's just right for me. Obviously when we're stalking, we don't want a trigger that's too light, but this has obviously been set up by somebody who knows exactly what they're doing. I'm gonna give it a try. Yeah, very nice, very crisp, very no, nice. no creep. No, none at all. It's worth noting as well the moderator. Okay. The moderator is a Schultz and Larson moderator. Sure. Manufactured in the same factory, same, same make. Yeah. And it fits the rifle perfectly. Yep, very nice. And nice and balanced. You couldn't fault it. Other features, of course, magazine. We've got a, a box magazine rather than the top loader. For me, that's that, that's where it has, where, where it's exactly where it should be. Um, a very nicely put together rifle, obviously quality. Um, coming from William Evans, now, I don't know, but they're a prestige gun maker. Where does this sit in terms of price? Well, believe it or not, this starts at £2,450. It, it, it's cheaper than one might expect, I think. It, it's very competitive. Yes. Well, I mean, a really nice setup. Um, we're stalking this month Roebuck, Fallowbuck, and Muntjac if we can find them. So uh, let's give it a go. See what we can do. Launched in 2015, the new sporting rifles are manufactured by Danish firm Schultz and Larsen, who, like William Evans, were founded in the 1880s. The rifle barrel is machined from a solid bar of the highest quality Norwegian steel and featuring an enclosed action with smooth three locking head bolt. The rifle comes factory threaded to take the custom made Schultz and Larsen moderator. These William Evans rifles are designed to the highest standards and so it's a pleasure to take a couple of hours putting it through its paces. As the evening draws in we head out again to try and find Ollie's Roebuck. This time, taking position in a high seat overlooking a glorious parcel of the Hampshire countryside just one hour from London. As the evening progresses, our luck is in and a roebuck and accompanying doe exit the woodland and start to graze. Ollie prepares the rifle and readies himself. At 250 yards, the buck is on the rangy side and anxious minutes pass as we wait for him to draw closer. Though stubbornly keeping his distance, the buck eventually turns broadside. Ollie switches off the safety catch and takes aim. A split second later and disaster strikes. As if demonstrating a sixth sense, both animals suddenly turn tail and dash off back into the woodland from whence they came. Hugely frustrating stuff. However, those that stalk will know that the joy of stalking is not all about the kill. As the evening draws in, a lone muntjac crosses the field and further rows show themselves. A barn owl hovers just yards from the seat before the light finally gives way to a stunning sunset. Deer stalking has its own delights, irrespective of the result, and on this occasion, Ollie's Roebuck will have to wait for another day. Finally, our thanks to William Evans Gunmakers in St James for the loan of their beautifully crafted rifle. If you'd like to go stalking with County Deer Stalking, then contact us via the website www.countydeerstalking.com forward slash go stalking.
Thank mm-hmm. you.